The biggest problem with load shedding at our school is the fact that when there is a power outage, it means that our administrative duties, our technology that we use in our classrooms, it all becomes inactive. The admin block comes to a standstill. When we enter the school, it's, it's total, total dark. Very early in the morning when I come here, it is dark and the kids are already at school. For them to walk in that environment is very sketchy. And if there's not somebody to look after them, uh, we are very, very, very anxious to know what will happen to them. The average classroom is about 40 learners. Nowadays, we work only with technology in our classrooms. We have smart boards, we have our white boards, we have the laptops that we're working from, where we pre do our lesson presentations on. So when it's load shedding, yes, I still do like to incorporate the old way, but it is more time effectively if we use the white boards and technology because it takes a lot of time away. It affects our lesson planning and our lesson presentation, as well as our administrative duties at school. They need different strategies, they need different methodologies and approaches in the classroom. That means that we now need to write from the board, they need to copy from the board, and those children, they can't even see what's written on the board because of, uh, of the dark space that they are working in. So we need to cater for the visual learner, we need to cater for the auditory learner. And when those learners are capped, then it isolates them a bit from the classroom. And uh, when they are isolated, it means that there's no interaction and then sometimes those learners don't actually learn in that environment. From the point of view of management regarding the load shedding and classes that has been missed, we have to reschedule. Some learners will not be able to, to get the information that the other classes got previously. Every day, from Monday to Friday, the learners need to go to the computer lab for maths curriculum online, the Green Shoots program. So if there's a load shedding, it definitely impacts our computer lab, which influences our maths subject. And that is one of the things that, that bothers me a lot because we get a lot from that program. Solar is one of the renewable energies and to have a renewable energy source, not only does the school benefit from it, but the learners, the teachers can all learn from this initiative. The biggest drive for it is so that we can reduce the amount of periods in the day that we are left without electricity. So if we can reduce the amount, we can improve our productivity in the classroom because with electricity, a lot of things can happen. Electricity and water, all our basic necessities. Once those things are taken away from us, we realize how dependent we are on them. A couple of years ago, we had a visit from Dr. Jason Samuels, he introduced think, energy saving tubes. It was Dr. Jason that brought the people from Vitality here and they were quite a number of times they were here. They first came to the office and come and talk about us, um, explaining what solar energy is. They also gave us some more info. I can still recall the one video that they showed us was the rugby spring beast. Um, I can still recall his face because they did numerous um, introductions to it. And then I took them out on the school premises, to where they can put the panels, where they can put the inverters, where they can put the batteries. So we installed solar panels on top of your new hall as well. So it's all, everything coming together in a new building, new panels, new system. This process is something that, you know, we had to take some time to work on. Being in the education sector, you have a lot of stress on you. You need to attend to X amount of kids in a classroom. You need to ensure that lesson plans, assessments, and everything is complete. And then load shedding comes. So with Vitality that have installed the solar system, that takes one burden off us. We need that 
that resource where we, that we can generate ourselves, that we can go to other companies and tell them, let's come together and start the project so that we can become more independent. And this is one of the projects that will make our school more independent from the rest. When we see the notification on our phones for load shedding, and then we are at ease because we are being run by the solar that will be at our school. We're here on the third day of the installation. We've pretty much finished everything. Solar panels are mounted on top of this building over here. The inverter and the batteries are mounted in a room inside the school and everything is functioning as we planned it to. Yes, and I really hope that this will be a start of not only this one project, but we will have a, a, a good relationship and with the company going forward. Definitely. We will walk the walk and we will talk the talk with Metal. I would just like to say a huge thank you to Utility for the project that you have brought to our school. Mr. Gordon, Mr. Schneider, thank you so much for this opportunity. It's been an absolute pleasure working with you and making it to this day, the Solar System Inauguration Day. Very happy to have handed over the system and please we welcome you to the thank Wetility family. Welcome to the Wetility family. Wetility will say bye bye, thank you for your time that you have us with us. We will be able to Thank you for your time and that you have played with us on the cards, that you have put everything on the table. And the fact that we are not just one time, but we are just a few times on the table. Very excited for Ida's Valley to be up and running on solar power now. And especially to also have included the kids, made it more inclusive, brought sustainable power. It was so cool to see them engage. And I think they're going to take the message to the community. I think what's next is the rest of the schools in this community and then potentially outside of this community, the rest of the province.